हेलो एवरी वन मैं सिर्फ शिंदे मोहिनी किसान असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर सदगुरु कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर मिरजगा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन कल्टिवेशन प्रैक्टिसेस ऑफ ओकरा ओकरा इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज लेडीज फिंगर और भेंडी वॉटनिकल नेम एबलमास्टस स्कूलेंटम ओरिजिन ट्रॉपिकल आशिया फैमिली मालवासी क्रोम जोम नंबर टू एन इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड थर्टी एट इट्स अबाउट वॉटनिकल नेम ओरिजिन फैमिली एंड क्रोम जोम नंबर देन नेक्स्ट अबाउट बॉटनी The species is perennial, often cultivated as an annual in temperate climates, and often grows to around two meters tall. The plant of oak, the plant of okra, it can be grows to around two meters tall and cultivated as an annual in a temperate climates. It is related to such species as cotton, coca, and hibiscus. The leaves are ten to twenty centimeter long and broad, palmately lobed with five to seven lobes. The flowers are four to eight centimeter in diameter. With five white to yellow petals, often with a red or purple spot at the base of a each petals. Flowers are four to eight centimeter diameter, and five white to yellow petals of a flower. The fruit is a capsule up to eighty centimeter long. The fruit of a okra is a capsule with a pentagonal cross section containing numerous seed. It's about botany of a okra. The next economic importance. Bhindi is one of the popular vegetable in India. It is one of the most popular vegetable in throughout the India. It is cultivated extensively all the year round for its immature fruits. It is cultivated throughout the year for a vegetable purpose. The stem of the plant is used for extraction of the fiber. The stem of the okra plant is used for extraction of a fiber. The root and stem are useful for clearing skin juice in preparation of jaggery. The stem and root of a okra is used for clearing skin juice in preparation of a jaggery. These are the economic importance of a okra. Then next about soil, bhindi can do well in all kind of soil, but sandy loam and clay loam soil are best for its cultivation. It can be grown in all type of soil, but the sandy loam to clay loam is the best. The optimum pH range is between 6 to 6.8. The land is prepared by giving 1 to 2 flowings. Cart loads of your phloem or compost should be incorporated during a land preparation. At the time of land preparation, the phloem or compost should be applied. The next about climatic requirements. Bhindi is warm season vegetable crop and require a long warm growing season. Okra is a warm season crop and require long warm growing season. In India, it is grown in summer month and during the rainy season. It is highly sensitive to frost. Seed germination poorly at ground temperature of 20 degree Celsius. It is about climatic requirement. Grow in warm conditions. Require long warm growing season. Grow in summer months and rainy season. Highly sensitive to frost. And then next about varieties. First one variety, Parbani Kranti. Released by VNMKV Parbani. Features It is derived from back cross of Abelomachus manihot into Abelomachus sculentum. It is a yellow vein mosaic virus resistant variety. Parbani Kranti having the special feature resistant to yellow vein mosaic virus. Plants flower in 45 to 60 days. Fruits are dark green in color, smooth, tender, and slender. Next one, Phule Kirti, developed by MPKV Rafuri. It is the F1 hybrid of okra suitable for both the Karib and summer season. Stem is green color with red patches. Shell pipe is 3 to 4 days. Phule Kirti varieties. Shell pipe is 3 to 4 days. And suitable for both season, Karib and summer. The next one, Arka Abai. IHR Bangalore. Developed from IHR Bangalore. It is a sister line of Arka Anamika. Arka Abai variety is a sister line of Arka Anamika. It carries tolerance to fruit borer and may suit pruning for a rotum crop. The next one, Arca Anamica, also called as Selection 10, developed by IIHR Bangalore. Developed through hybridization, back crossing, and selection from Ablomatrus esculentum into Ablomatrus tetrophilus. Yield around 12.5 tons per hectare under optimum conditions. The next one variety, Pusa Makhmali. This one variety developed by IRI New Delhi. This variety is a pure land selection from local type collected from West Bengal. Fruits are medium long. The next one variety is Pusa Sauni. The most popular variety known throughout the country was released by IRI New Delhi. 
fruits having 5 ridges and take 45 to 50 days from sowing to first harvest. Productivity is 8 to 10 ton per hectare, initially resistant and later becomes susceptible to yellow and mosaic virus. Next one variety Pusa Sauni, most popular variety throughout the India, developed by IRI New Delhi. Firstly resistant and later becomes susceptible to yellow and mosaic virus. The next one Punjab Padmini, this one variety developed at Punjab Agriculture University. Ludhiana as a hybrid derivative selection from interspecific cross between Avalamachus esculentum cultivar Pusa sauni into Avalamachus manihot species manihot. Fruits are dark green, 50 to 20 cm long and 5 ridge, pigmentation on stem, petiole and lower vasa veins of a lute, resistant to yellow and mosaic virus, chassis and cotton wallworm. Yield is 10 to 12 ton per hectare. Punjab Padmini variety developed by Punjab Agriculture University. Ludhiana. The next one variety is Punjab 8, EMS 8. Punjab 8 is also called as EMS 8. It is an induced mutant derived from Pusa Sauni. This is the mutant variety, induced mutant derived from the variety Pusa Sauni. By treating seed with EMS 1%, the plants are 150 cm tall with the purple pigment splashes on stem, petiole and lower surface of a leaves. It's all about varieties of a okra. Parmani Kranti, Phule Kirti, Punjab Padmini, Pusa Sauni, Punjab 8, Arka Abai, Arka Anamika, Pusa Makhmali. It's all varieties of a okra. The next seed rate. The recommended seed rate per hectare is 80 to 22 kg for spring summer crop and 8 to 10 kg for kharif season. For kharif season, seed rate 8 to 10 kg and for summer 80 to 22 then sowing season for kharif june to july summer january february winter august september methods of sowing it can be sown by method seed drill hand dibbling or behind the flow then spacing for summer crop spacing is 45 into 30 centimeter and for rainy 60 into 45 centimeter or 60 into 60 centimeter it's about seed rate sowing season method of sowing and spacing then next about manures and fertilizers, nutritional requirements. Application of 20 to 25 tons of FIM per hectare at the harrowing during the last harrowing. Fertilizer doses 100 kg nitrogen, 50 kg phosphorus, and 50 kg potash per hectare should be applied, out of which half nitrogen and full of phosphorus and potash is applied at the time of sowing, and remaining dose of nitrogen is applied 30 to 40 days after transplanting as a top dressing. Recommended dose of fertilizer as 100 as 50 as 50. Nitrogen is given half at the time of planting and remaining dose is given at 30 to 40 days after transplanting. Phosphorus and potash full dose given at the time of planting. Spray of 5 ppm glycerin at 2 4 leaf stage is useful for increased number of female flowers as compared to male flowers. It's about manures and fertilizers requirement for okra. The next about irrigation. Pre-sowing irrigation should be given in the soils having no sufficient moisture. First irrigation is given just after sowing and then the field is irrigated after 4 to 5 days in summer and 8 to 10 days in a winter season. First irrigation given at the time of sowing in summer season 4 to 5 days interval and in winter season 8 to 10 days interval. It's about irrigation. The next intercultural operations. Weeding, thinning and earthing up is important interculture operation followed in a okra also bending. Earthing up in the rows should be done in a rainy season crop. Application of herbicides for controlling weeds in bhindi is found effective. For controlling the weed in a okra, application of herbicide like basalin at the rate 1 to 2 liter per hectare and soil application of TOC A25 at the rate 5 liter per hectare effectively control the weeds in a okra. Then harvesting. Flowering beginning from 35 to 40 days after sowing and fruits are ready for harvest 4 to 5 days after flowering. After flowering 4 to 5 days, fruits are ready for harvesting. Bhindi pots may be harvested continuously at the same interval. At the same intervals, the pots should be harvested. Miss the fruit. Bhindi. The young fruits can be harvested in the morning. At the time of morning, the young fruits are harvested. Delay in harvesting may make the fruits fibrous and they lose their tenderness and taste. If we are delaying the harvesting, the fruits become unfit for consumption and its demand is low in market due to the 
ओवर डिले इन हार्वेस्टिंग द फ्रूट्स बिकम अ फाइबरस एंड दे लूज देयर टेंडरनेस एंड टेस्ट देन ईल्ड इन रेनी सीजन क्रॉप ड्यू सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड के जी पर हेक्टर एंड समर क्रॉप फाइव थाउजेंड के जी पर हेक्टर इट्स अबाउट हार्वेस्टिंग एंड ईल्ड द नेक्स्ट डिसीजेस फर्स्ट वन येलो वेन मोजैक वायरस डिसीज डिसीजेस फर्स्ट वन येलो वेन मोजैक वायरस डिसीजेस दिस इज द मोस्ट सीरियस डिसीज ऑफ भेंडी कैरेक्टराइज वेन क्लियरिंग द टिपिकल सिम्टम एंड इल्ड लॉस मे बी अप टू हंड्रेड परसेंट डिपेंडिंग ऑन स्टेज ऑफ ऑकरेंस ऑन द डिसीजेस फ्रूट्स ऑफ वायरस अफेक्टेड प्लांट्स टर्न टू क्रीम और वाइट इन कलर वायरस इज ट्रांसमिटेड थ्रू वाइट फ्लैश बेमिसा टैबाक द वायरस इज ट्रांसमिटेड थ्रू एजेंट वाइट फ्लैश कंट्रोल मेजर रिमूव ऑफ फील्ड ससेप्टेबल टू मोजैक फ्रॉम नियर वाई फील्ड कंट्रोल ऑफ वाइट फ्लैश अपरूटिंग एंड बरिंग अफेक्टेड प्लांट्स एडजस्टिंग टाइम ऑफ सोइंग कल्टिवेशन ऑफ रेजिस्टेंट वराइटीज लाइक अर्का अनामिका अर्का वाय परवनिकांति आर रिकमेंडेड फॉर रेजिंग अ डिसीज फ्री क्रॉप देन नेक्स्ट वन पाउडरी मिल्टू दिस इज कॉज बाय फंगस इरिसिपा साइकोरा सिरम अंडर प्रोलॉन्ग ह्यूमन कंडीश ह्यूमिड कंडीशन वाइट पाउडर पिस्टूल्स एपर ऑन लोअर सर्फेस ऑफ लूज रिजल्टिंग इन योलोइंग एंड डेथ ऑफ ए लूज कंट्रोल मेजर्स स्प्रेइंग ऑपरेटेबल सल्फर टू ग्राम पर लीटर एट फोर्थ नाइट इंटरवल इज रिकमेंडेड फॉर कंट्रोल देन इन्सेक्ट एंड पेस्ट जैसेड एंड फ्रूट बोर जैसेड एमरस का बिगटूला वे शेप्ड पेल ग्रीन जैसेड सक द सैप फ्रॉम अंडर सर्फेस ऑफ ल्यूज दैट इज द सकिंग सकिंग सैप मार्जिनल योलोइंग कोपिंग एंड ड्राइंग ऑफ ल्यूज ड्यू टू इंटेंस हॉपर बर्न डिफॉलेशन ऑल्सो ऑकर इन्फेस्टेशन इज सीरियस ड्यूरिंग समर प्रोफाइलेटिक स्प्रे ऑफ नीम ऑयल गार्लिक मिक्सचर एट फोर्थ नाइटली इंटरवल इज एडवांटेज फॉर अवॉइडिंग पेस्ट इंसिडेंट्स Then second food borer borer infestation result in toppling and death of young seedling withering and drying up of individual leaves and central shoots fruits will be damaged severely spray of carbaryl or thiodin or endosulfan or phenvalerate or cypermethrin or deltamethrin is effective for control of borer summer flowering and king cultivation are also helpful in reducing pest infestation it's about diseases and insect pest for okra is all about cultivation practices of okra thank you